Yo. Let's go then. Oh, streams online already. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, welcome to the stream, y'all. About to have a good match versus Evil versus WSP. Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are muted, by the way, but oh, not anymore. Are y'all casting? Yeah, stream can hear us. It just, it literally just, like, I just popped in here, so don't worry about it. Okay, I've, can I cast with y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank like, you. I literally, I just joined the lobby to do this, like, like, I'm just getting acquainted with everyone, with the situation. Perfect. We got evil versus... There's the pro link. Do you have the, are you in the, did you get the link? I can link it to you. Uh, yeah, once my league client boots up. should be quite an interesting one. They're both very strong teams, very volatile teams. Well, I say that, why I say that is like they're they have very strong highs and very <laughs> very weak lows. Yeah, their their floor, the distance between the floor and the ceiling is massive. They're yes. they're skyscrapers in a world of where you want to be uh, a condo. Right, very much so. But as each oh, team progresses, as each team practices, yeah. it gets more and more consistent. So we'll see how it goes. And with the addition of Piper, it has they have seen some improvement on uh, the side of WSP for sure. At yeah, least in terms of uh, wins. Yeah, I think uh, I'm almost. Wait, can they not hear us? They can hear us. He, they can't hear him. Oh, okay. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's a pro draft link. And can I get into the lobby? And that's it. All right. I will watch someone else and then I will look at the pro draft link. So, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready too. I'm just going to go grab a cup of water. I'm sorry, I can leave the headset on. So just tell me what the pix is and I'll talk about it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, sure, no problem. Ooh, I just grabbed a bottle actually. Killing the planet one bottle at a time. It was already made, so it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna pop up in Twitch chat so I can so interact. I tell my grandkids. <laughs> if there is enough <laughs> of the earth left for our grandkids. It's <laughs> right. a great happening. great cast already. Yeah. Was the stream already linked? Uh I don't believe so. Let's get some viewers in here. Yeah, we got Three massive well, Morgana band coming out right away for respect on the. I believe that's for Sal and Frank. Uh, no, right. it's for counter spell. Formerly counter spell. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm just. I'm not looking at the roster right now. There it is. It's all right. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's a flex pick for for a lot of them too. Like I, I believe three people. Three people on that team play the Morgana, and I've actually seen, I've seen Juice Me Mommy play it too. So like, four people play on the Morgana yeah. on that team. Morgana can go pretty much every role except for AD carry, but even yeah. as long, well actually she could go AD carry because of pikes that exist that we've seen. But yeah, you're more most likely it was banned for the counter speed, like you're saying. Um, what do you think of the? Before we get into the rest of the fans, what do you think of the 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 real? 
thing on everyone's mind, the counter speed boss tones change. Uh, I think counter spell is a whole lot better. <laughs> I do miss boss tones. The fact that he has to have counter speed as his uh, Twitch handle, absolutely horrid. I think it's a C, it's a it's a it's a bold move from a CEO to put a slight spelling error on a common word. Yeah. A commonly known spelled known like because well, it's like everyone's got a second think a second time about it you know like they, they it's got us it gets stuck in their head a little bit more than if you just had counter spell like i'd probably forget it but yeah it's counter a bold, speed not... i've never forgot counter speed yet <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see no one will ever forget it that's the whole point <laughs> yeah exactly it's good branding <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we're gonna pop. So I don't know if I like pick, it, but I don't forget. <laughs> so Thresh pick coming out for the side of WSP that's gonna be in the hands of Slaga, where a Shen pick has been picked up in the top lane, and Shen could actually be a Chad Penguin, and the Swain is a flex between support and mid. Yeah, that's Ooh. two strong picks coming out of there. Shen and Swain are very annoying to play against. But Thresh yeah. in the right hands can also be very annoying with the, the lantern, all these hooks coming out. So um, I like the answer of Shen into Thresh. It's mm -hmm. it does it does okay. Um, not a hard counter. Not a, it's about a, it's 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 pretty even matchup honestly. If they so, go support with that, it's probably Shen jungle honestly. I think it's actually going to be Shen top for allergic to milk, and the Kled was picked into the Shen, and I believe the Swain's going to be in the hands of Counterspe. Uh, regardless of where he goes. Yeah. Well, here's, uh, I thought they were going to be a Legends copycat and just whip it out in the jungle. <laughs> no, le Legends... Uh, <laughs> Is that unique to him? Yeah, him and... He, he would play it like that unless it was a uh, Lolly Hentai or uh, Maye. Gotcha. They'd be playing River Shen. So, <laughs> yeah. Shen. yeah. I like River the MF pick coming out here. It's super strong right now. Oh, wait, um, Aphilios is still up. Ah, but I don't think... Aphilios, yeah, yeah, it is strong. It got the nerf, but it is still very strong in the right hands. Um, and it's yeah. the, 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 the true strength of Aphilios, I think, it comes from people that don't play Aphilios don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, uh -huh. they, it's very easy to abuse people that just walk into your Chakram or tr Crescendum passive. Yes. Or so Crescendum ability. Sivir being picked here for Chad Penguin. So the high rating and Ari bans, so some mid lane bans since the solo laners haven't been picked for evil and we need to see the jungle pick. And okay, if they don't ban Evelyn here, I think Ooh, they're trolling. Kaliki got his Kled. Yeah. This is, hmm. that's a bold move from evil to give Kaliki his main champion. They must have some kind of answer. They think Shen just counters it apparently. Yeah. I think they feel like it counters most of his champion pool. I am really surprised that they're going to leave uh, New Kappa Turks. Okay, so Shen, Plat plus Shen, ha, uh, Plat has a 47% win rate into Shen over 245 matches. Yeah. But in Shen's... the right hands, who knows? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're barely Plat plus in this league, so. <laughs> uh, what, I've, what, I've, what I've heard from Kaligi is that the Shen has a very easy time predicting when Kled, like he, he can use his W um, very easily because Kled's very predictable and when he's trying to all in you or when he's trying to do damage. So yeah, Shen, all you have Shen, to do is wait for that moment. Yeah, you, the first person to balk in that loses. So yeah. um, the Nocturne pick coming in here, I think the Evelyn pick just comes in here. I think that's been unseen. How is that not banned? Oh, the Olaf? Evelyn up. No Olaf, so you're gonna have to have an AP mid laner here for uh, Vitalis. Is it gonna be the Diana? Both teams very much are geared towards running it down. <laughs> they don't want to disengage too much. But maybe the Thresh Lantern and a Shen a little bit. But I guess Sivir can self peel a little bit. MS got some move speed to get away. Right, I so really very much run forward team comps. Yeah, I like the victor right here. Um, I don't know what 
uh, Panic of the Victor Pop-Out with Kick good. right here. Yeah, I would say the Victor or uh, Cassiopeia would have been super solid. Victor, in this case, I think is really solid because they don't have too many dashes besides like the Shen that the Cassio could stop. So mm -hmm. the Victor is another one of those zoners that can just throw out his, his stun and what, yeah, are, the, what are these engaged champs going to do into that? So yeah, the Velka is coming out here, Panic at the top at special. I kind of hope he runs Glacial here. So the damage profile from Evil is a whole lot better than that from WSP. WSP is a press R and go comp, like you said. Yeah. Um, they only have the Victor who needs... I really like that pick, the Velka's. Yeah, yeah, they have three. They need three items on Victor for him to be super effective. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, if I'm Shen, I think all I'm doing is building uh, all armor and then adaptive helm. Because now their evils engage can be very controlled now. They can just yeah. wave clear and wave clear and wave clear and farm until Shen and Nocturne have ults, and then they can just engage on someone and get a pick with Swain and Belkaz ult. Several, but right. until then they can just wave clear all day, and it's and they're tanky enough to survive and, and disengage with the Velkazi and the Sivir ult and spell shield. And Sivir's a good counter to Thresh. Like, there's not much. Like Victor doesn't have enough range to deal with to the Velkaz, so it's yeah, it's it's a good one. Uh, yeah. I do think what's gonna be tough is that Victor's really really good at the short range that he carries, which Sivir is. So, uh, yep. Chat Penguin has been known for some positioning errors before. By the way, also, I don't think we talked about this. Did you want me to do play by play and you do color or what? Um, yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, 100%. <laughs> I'm more spacey. Like, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. We're all in space, dude, technically. Yeah. So it's all good. Um,. um I would say the Kled will thrive in this game from the flanks with his ult because Shen can only ult one person whereas Kled can ult his, ult his whole team into a fight to to make it like even if Shen ults onto his carry if his carry's alone somewhere and you're Kled ulting your whole team into the fight you just then wipe the Shen and the carry so it's like their positioning has to be on point from evil um, to not get run down from these Kled ults yeah i think the main thing that i'm kind of thinking of is this olaf into nocturne matchup olaf by far one of the strongest early game junglers but what i love and i think we should see more of is nocturne because nocturne is really really good for teams who aren't incredibly well coordinated on either side so you can punish uh, uncoordinate, uh, you know, lack of coordination on opposite side, and then you can also, um, like, if you're not super coordinated to make like massive roams happen or waves being set up, then what you can do is use that nocturne. Uh, and it seems like we have everybody yeah. in their roles that we believe they would be. He's also uh, so like nocturne's also like really strong early. He can almost keep up with Olaf's damage. Had it would it not be for the vicious strike healing? Um, yeah. Attack speed passive, but uh, if you get the fear off before he gets old, I think you can actually win that one v one. Yeah, you have to burn his ult for sure. Uh, yeah. Extended or like pre trades, six. Yeah. yeah, extended trades will definitely favor Olaf, and even so, the only way I think you win as Nocturne is if you spell shield, have your spell shield up, and you can block the mm -hmm. uh, axe throw. So yeah. Overall. I think when you're looking at these teams, uh, Olaf, they should. The, the problem is, while Misfortune is a lane bully, Sivir can just double range advantage is really strong, and Swain's not. Uh, you know, the, it, it, Swain's really good if he holds his uh, pull I, and waits yeah. for Thresh to go first. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at the overall team comps. Um, yeah. I believe I've got to give the edge to WSP here. Just based on Shear's uh, ease of execution. Put it mm -hmm. that way. Yeah, I so think... If, if Slag has a good game at all, if he has a decent game, this game is easy for them. Just their, their champs are very simple to pull off. They work well together. Whereas the other team has a very tough time coordinating. 
Um, mm -hmm. They're a little bit wonky. It's hard to look at that team and, and know who's supposed to go first. Um, what's well, the order of events supposed to be in that? I would say that, yeah, the Kaligi ult into everyone run uh, yep. is really, really big and easy to follow. What I will yep. say, though, is that hopefully this Vel'Koz went Glacial Augment. Because if the Vel'Koz went Glacial Augment, and then Swain either goes Grasp or, I'm guessing, Electrocute, Phase Rush, something like that can happen. Then what can end up happening is that you can, they, Kaligi presses R, Sivir presses R, you Kai back, and then you can re-engage with Vel'Koz slow and try to catch someone out. Obviously, yeah. Shen and Swain can just take up space on the back line, hopefully. And you you have to get to Vel'Koz in these fights. I think that's going to be the huge thing. And the darkness coming out from Nocturne can make some of those uh, fights be a little bit harder. Sometimes I think some people forget that even if you're not close enough to ult in, darkness is just really strong because of the way it limits your vision yeah. uh, around and you what, in team fights. So. What I will say about the comp from uh, Evil is, although it's not very clear cut, all their champs are very good at skirmishing still. So mm -hmm. if they just mechanically outplay their opponents, it won't matter. The comp won't matter, so it, um, they still have the tools they need to win if they use it correctly. Yeah, I, I, uh, I I'm gonna give it to uh, Evil here only because uh, I think the Kled, while he would be able to thrive in these fights, I don't know if he'll actually be able to get the lead that I feel like he needs to get uh, against the Shen, just because of the nature of the champion matchup. Um, and then it'll be just it's, interesting. Yeah. I think this game's mainly on Olaf getting enough neutrals in the early game, maybe taking the dragon, pushing in bot lane with your bot lane, getting a recall, going top, contesting Herald, and getting some plates for your victor more more importantly than anything. Because the sooner Victor turns online, the harder it is gonna be for all the squishies on the side of evil. I believe that the Swain can be abused this game in the Velkaz. If if Olaf's able mm -hmm. to pull off Gank's um, bot lane on the Swain with the Thresh, uh, he's able to get a lead, a little bit of a lead. Then he can use that lead to snowball mid lane, mm -hmm. get mid lane snowball a little bit, and then uh, yeah. game should be out of control from there. Yeah, well, let us know in chat. Uh, unfortunately, it is the pizza delivery sivir from Chad Pangu. So, Karoot328, your prayers have not been answered. You prayed to C-Van, not the Bung, unfortunately. Um, so nothing too crazy coming out here. We got, uh, the only thing with the Victor that I've seen more of is the phase rush, which I'm, I understand you want to get in and out, uh, more. The area I think is perfectly fine. Uh, I have even seen some victors run some in their spell book. Most of these kind of stat check mm. Or uh, mate control mages like the Orianas and the Victors and such taking summoner spellbook just to have more uh, choices and be impact in different ways. Swain taking the electrocute, Shen with the grasp, everything pretty peachy keen. Velkaz did take Comet and not Glacial, so there is that. Yeah. Down. Usually, if I'm running Phase Rush, I ask myself like, do I need Phase Rush to survive? And if the answer is no, then you probably want something else. Unless you're a champ like Syndra, who can actually move while casting. And then it's a little bit different because it can actually add to your DPS if you're repositioning while you're casting abilities. Um, as opposed to someone who's like Victor who has to let's stop. Pause at oh, let's pause at 30. At 30? Oh, yeah. Victor can, can, correct me if I'm wrong, he can move while he's casting E though, right? Yes. So it is a little bit, it's it's in between for him because he can't move while casting Q. Yeah. Um, all right, um, I'm paused at 30. I'm also paused at 30. Is stream paused at 30? Kevin? I, I could, Kevin? Yellow. He's at 33. Can you go to 33. 30? I'll go to 33. Yeah, I'll go to 33. That's fine. All right. I'm there. All right, and I'll get the countdown. Three, two, one, 33. Cool. 30 seconds until Kevin, are you with us? 
And we got a bush stack from Evil. And a little bit of an invade coming in from uh, WSP. Where oh, Kevin? and some, some chat coming in as they invade, just to distract them a little bit. Get that ward off. They're not going to continue to take the red. Kevin, I, where are you right now? I can respect that. They know they're probably going to come back up there and check. They got the vision off. Yeah, I'm there. 108, 109. 11, 12, 13. Got it. Yep. All right. Well, this is going to be good. So, yeah, the stack right there uh, means that uh, the, there was a ward that would spot him at his Raptors if he decided to do it. And then Nuke Capitark did back to get the sweeper. So, that is good. Looks like both junglers will be starting on their bottom yep. side. Yep. Juice Me Mommy was spotted over that blue ward on the Raptors as he was going to ward his own red buff. So, they will have some information on him early. Um, we'll see which lanes would want to be ganked early. I was talking about um, Olaf ganking the Swain early, so uh, it might not work out as first clear unless he just goes Raptors, the Golem, the bot, but it, it'd be pretty tough to guarantee that. So he's probably just going to pat the top and try to kill one of these uh, melee top laners who are just scrapping it out up top right now. Get that yeah. early lead going and then and then work his way down to bot afterwards. All right, well, I'm just going to say it now because I'm going to complain about it later. Oh, Chad Penguin trying to get that level two. Doesn't have it. The play hook is going to land. Flash comes out. The invisible boomerang does a lot of damage. Good trade back, though. Uh, yeah. Good Hyper level tank. of trade, but at the same time, yeah, they uh, they got the tr uh, trade back. I would have liked to see the ignite come out off the hook just to force the flash, but it's okay. Yeah. I'll say this. Uh, oh, and there's a gank in the mid lane as Panic at the top hat is in a really bad spot. The ghost coming out from Vitalis. Panic at the top hat has to flat, burns the barrier, and first blood does come out for the side of him. I think he was probably just better off yeah. not burning any summoners. He got away. To the right unless he was yep. uh, jumping Flashed over away, that but he wall. did not get toward. Right he there. did not get toward his jungler right away, so. He was able to get run down. New Cap Turk recognized that, flashed after him, which good stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, in the top lane, allergic to milk, uh, I think just really not playing this early levels right. He got pushed in while he did get Kaligi off the mount. He just kept on missing the sword pass throughs. Uh, ooh, and Kaligi not gonna be able to get himself mounted again. Oh, until the very last moment because of the way that the Spirit's Refuge works on. See, that's what's gonna happen when he's gonna be trying to get his mount wow. back. I feel like uh, if Sal flash auto, he had a chance of getting that. Yeah. Maybe, but at the same time, Kaligi had flash. Yeah. And he gets a little greedy and dies for it. There it is, right there. When you don't have your Spirit's Refuge up, you really can't trade right there. So, mm. uh, it's highly unfortunate. Unlucky. He almost had the kill. Ends up barely getting missing it, and then just uh, stays too long. So it's fun for a TP. Click is gonna get a slight lead out of it. Very good. Juicy mommy coming down here for what looks like a gank, but I'm not too. He wants the sure. Swain. He wanted the Swain to go in, but Swain was on cooldown a little bit and ends up working out because Hyper was not expecting Swain to just re-engage like that. Ends up getting, he probably had a little bit too much confidence in his ability to dodge the Swain snare, and then just gets caught up by it. You, the way you dodge it is actually by standing in your creep wave and using the creeps to dodge the back end of it, because it only snares you on the on the redirect. So you actually stand in front of your creeps, and then you can't get hit by it. Yeah, I also think that he could have just taken the damn lantern. Um, yeah, he because... was trying to. You can actually get caught mid lantern. Um, in the snare well no so, the the snare had already happened and he just didn't click the lantern so that was the mm. interesting part um well you get snared and then you pulled back so it's it's hard to click it right away without this just is a really first. nice talk looking but yeah i i agree um his positioning was a little off juicy mommy gonna try to go in Gonna get stunned, not gonna be able to... Yeah, this is not... That's not smart. You're gonna end over two kills. Okay, so we're talking about the victor pick against these engagers. Uh, they just have to... He just has to throw out the gravity field, and uh, it's game over if he, push, if he positions it right. Uh, 
I think that was more game over from Juice Me Mommy not understanding that his mid laner was extremely low and had very limited mana, and that if he l yeah. doesn't spell shield the sl the stun, he dies yep. because Olaf is right there, who's stronger than you. It's it's very hard to time the spell shield. Just you you might get hit by an Olaf axe at the same moment that you're trying to spell shield the stun, and then it it won't actually uh, cancel it. So I guess what I'm saying is, why try? Um, yeah. Um, I, I I agree. It's 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 juicy looking for that kill. Maybe you got that flash. Uh, or you you're feeling confident with the nocturne because as soon as you get that fear off, you know you can just one shot anyone. But uh, or especially early game. But and you feel a lot of pressure to make stuff happen early game as nocturne for some reason. I don't. I, I would just yeah. power farm till six, honestly. That's kind of my point. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Just like get, okay. get to six and then start start making kills happen with your ult with Shen, but. Yeah, see how exactly. it goes. The, the submarine is always going to be in effect, but if the vessel that you want to shoot your rocket at doesn't work, or vice versa, uh, this is not going to be good. Well, uh, so. very good start for WSP right now. Uh, they don't have the gold quite on MF. Yeah, that's a, that's something that they need to change, but uh, the Victor is definitely sitting pretty. Kled's sitting pretty. Um, yeah, it's you definitely smooth you, sailing for them right now. Yeah, if your soul laners can be it, AD's a worthless role right now anyway. So. Yeah, MF still even like her base damages are just so good anyway that yeah. without like, and her builds are cheap. Like her lethality items are not relatively expensive versus other AD items. Um, I don't think she's a straight up lethality user anymore though. I think you actually are supposed to go Essence Sai. So. Um, I don't know if I'm wrong on that, can... but I think Essence IE is the standard now. I think it's because the way that those work, but I can tell you this, if the team doesn't have any tanks, Lethality is still really good. Well, there's Tumul going in again without his Spirit's Refuge, and it again is, uh... Just free just dives with Kled. Questionable plays around your own cooldowns. Yeah, it just in this this the position in the lane he's trying to trade in. I, I get why he's doing it. It's because his jungler's nearby. He wanted he wanted to keep the lane state right there before the crash, so that his jungler could come and gank, which ends up getting them a kill because he sacrificed himself to keep the wave there. But uh, a little bit too early, a little bit too uh, ambitious on the trying to hold a freeze against a Kled. Um, it's better to just hope. It's better to just hope he stays and let the wave crash, so you don't end up dying yourself. But uh, just got caught up and probably didn't track Kaligi's flash, so ends up running the, the Kaligi flash in the process, though. So not so not so bad, honestly. Not so bad for the Shen. Chad Penguin burning the spell shield just so that you, he can show that he knows how to spell she. And Piper has to burn the heal, and the ignite had come out from Counter Speed, so we have Counter, counter Speed and. Uh, Spell shield when counter speed can't spell spell. <laughs> Feels bad. My brain. Yeah, Juicy Mommy has now hit level six. Also, the Olaf going the Cinder Hulk. A little bit interesting. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do anything here. Panic at the top. Of oh, but the Shen ult coming out. Oh. going to land the taunt right there. Do we get the ult? Oh, no, but the axe comes down. The axe. <laughs> it's tragic. Panic at the top hat comes and Kaligi is also here now. Flash comes out from Juju Mommy for Oh my reason. god, that last axe actually saved everyone because the laser was going to come and burn everyone. Yeah, if uh. He got instant cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> so it's great. interesting because you can say that the Cinder Hulk kept New Capaturk alive enough, but I think if he had Warrior, he would have killed him before the Shin Ultimate came in. I also think the the CDR boots are an interesting buy. I love I like the it. CDR boots. Uh, I, I like it. CDR they're boots cheap. They give you flash spend. cooldown. Like you see how he burned that flash like right away. Like he knows he's got the CDR boots. Get it back. Exactly. <laughs> CDR boots are some of the most underrated boots in the game. I just think they're incredibly situational. But they're yeah. so golden. I would have maybe opted for Mercs this game, but there's really not much. He's Merc. Like, there's like he doesn't need Mercs when he's ulting, so might as well just have exactly. CDR boots. And Panic of the Top Hat is uh, found him spell. And look at all that spell. CDR. <laughs> <I'm kidding. Yeah. laughs> he just picks up his axe and runs him down. Too far up in the lane. 
Yeah, I do think it's just... We've been seeing misplays uh, in situational map awareness from the side of evil right now. Um, if it was a plague, it'd be coronavirus. Seems like right a now. little bit of uh, tilt on set. Because a lot of these players perform better than this normally. It's just a little bit of miscommunication, probably a little bit of tilt after, after said miscommunications. For sure. Um, but they might, let's see how they recover, you know? They might come back from this. They do have It's not that far back. Side. 2k, yeah. two, about 2k down. 2k is uh, a bit of a. At, 10, at 11 minutes, it's a large, large margin, but it's. Um, in the grand scheme, and one one completed item. Someone. I like to think I like to think about the gold in, in terms of items because it, it sounds less far gone in that way in your head. Like oh, they're one item up. Not that bad. But you can't really think of it like that because of levels and XP. And get Slaga right there. So that's huge. Uh, as counter speed had to flash out, and Chad Penguin really, there's no, uh, I'm not sure what the pings are for that. Oh, it's the TP from Kaligi who has the ultimate. Very nice flank set up there. And counter speed. Good kiting from Chad here. Chad, yeah, Chad's gonna be able to kite this out, and they're gonna be able to get this kill. For if he sure. dodges the next Q here. And he's oh, oh, not he's quite. The reset because Chad did not go back out, so Kaligi's gonna actually get the double kill here as Vitalis flashes for the kill. As Kaligi is kind of tilted, it seems, from that he just stood still. Nice spell shield by Juicy Mommy right there. Wow. As Vitalis also picks I'm it up. I'm using the fact that Sivir wants to turn around to auto to get the kill, but it's probably a little more valuable for Sivir to just keep running in a straight line. Don't turn to auto and let your support finish him off from a distance. But yeah. uh, ends up giving him the the remount and the kill at the same time, so then he finishes both. So it's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, very good kiting to begin with, with, though. He got all the way around the alcove. At 11, has ballooned into about a two and a half thousand gold lead. Can we get a PMA LCS alcove in in a uh, chat, please? Uh, that, yeah. Alco that attempted alcove play. PMA alcove. <laughs> PM alcove. PM alcove. Uh, yeah. As PM alcove. now, uh, New Capitark has. So New Capitark is prioritizing magic, da magic resist. Um. Against a team with. What you okay? So like it's it's even. I. But that would mean if Chad Penguin or Juicy Mommy ever have a moment with him, uh, he'll he might die. But I you know guess what we need? We need an alcove in the middle lane. An alcove oh, in the middle. Yeah. Like in the middle? Like a little like, like, like a, the show, Malcolm in the middle. Al oh, Malcolm in the middle? The alcove in the middle? Boom. Wow. You just you just made new content. <laughs> Counter, counter speed is popped up and is going to die. Slaga gets that last kill right there. Is a uh, new capture. There's that base damage coming out. Oh, and two MF melting your ass with an ult. But I mean, yeah, you're standing you know, you even say, every ult. So you say oh, and two. Something I actually really would like to. Oh no, you're about to get popped. Yeah, why'd you go back? Uh, something I want to talk about is like when people say, "Oh, I'm 25 and one" or something like yeah. that. Yeah. You understand that your kills don't like grant you permanent stats, right? They Not don't. You. Yes. But I think a lot of people don't understand that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the inter you can look at his CS numbers. He's almost uh, got a kill in gold above Sivir in, in one in terms of just the CS. If you just look at the CS. Yeah, CS, yeah. global goal. Yeah. Like, you can So he's be more like. It's, yeah. You it's can more be like 1 and 2 bad. versus 2 and 2 right now. Yeah, just based on be, the CS number. Uh, I, you can be absolutely fed and have hit your peak, and then the rest of the team. Oh my goodness, this game is. Uh, <laughs> 
That OP lantern doesn't matter if you doesn't matter if you in your thresh will not let you. Yeah. Right now we're at 15 minutes and we're looking at you know we have two towers down. It is some uh, weird lane assignments going on here. Just split. Everyone's split across the map. I honestly think people are just trying to uh, fight. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say uh, yeah. <laughs> Just throw their, throw their weight around a little bit. 7-0 Victor just wants to set, he wants everyone out of his lane. He just wants to 1v1. Get his farm. I mean, honestly, if uh, Vitalis does have his ult up, he can he should, probably... He should get to a side lane. Up. Just get him out of there. Get him to a split. He can push out of the lane and then rotate. While MF and Thresh just hold mid. Yeah. They're probably worried about MF not being able to hold by herself. With Thresh by herself. They might... Thinking that Victor is necessary in the mid to hold. Well, I mean, considering the bot lane tower still up, there is still a safe spot for MF to go, and they have to get the flash on. The ulti comes out right there. Kaligi is really far ahead. The flash comes out. The ult comes out. More ults come out. Here, fire the laser. As you see, Mommy goes out. Flash on the Slaga as Vitalis uh, goes legendary. Fresh hook does miss. Piper is Isis is on the backside, and Chad Penguin. Oh, get him! Oh, get him! <laughs> oh, he's going for more. Oh, he said, "Fuck that! You guys got that." Yeah, I'm going for a Sivir. Got that. Yeah, new Capitur still chilling right there. <laughs> Sivir does get away. I don't believe that uh, Panic of the Top Hat will be as likely as he is going to be corralled in their own jungle. And it just seems like an unnecessary fight was taken when you're that far behind in gold. You don't need to be that far up trying to fight in mid. Um, maybe they felt like they, they were forced into the fight, but at the same time, just stay farther back. Yeah, I think and this can be said for a lot of both leagues, gold and uh, red. It seemed, again, I'm going to go back to this phrase, situational map awareness. Uh, okay, so this right here, you think <laughs> situational map <laughs> Uh Well, no, okay, so that's a little bit different. I don't think you situational. Yeah, it was just, think it was just funny the that. Time. Hey, but I will. I no, but what I will say is, red team, red team has. They knew they weren't on dragon because they have the shrine. They knew they weren't in the pixel brush because they have a lab warden as well. So where could they be? In the <laughs> choke? No. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I go scout with my with my W? That was on I guess cooldown? it is it is very easy to look at it from this perspective. For sure, for sure. Um, it's the only perspective and I look at. You don't. We don't know what comms are like right now in, in their team and what he's distracted by and all that. So it's very hard to judge right now. But it's it is <laughs> definitely yeah. definitely a pattern. Definitely a repeated pattern in uh, events. I will say that sometimes it probably comes down to like you say mental uh, not player people... specific even just just can mail cs specific uh, yeah, like you're saying <laughs> they did a small <laughs> everyone a uh, small pause know. happy they birthday some... piper <laughs> yeah, so happy birthday piper can we get some uh feels birthday man in the chat for piper as a uh... that's a little bit bm to pause while you're winning no they they said it at the beginning of the game oh okay. god do a small pause <laughs> okay. for piper <laughs> gotta say, but uh, all right. I happy birthday, Piper. I hope you hear this. I hope you watch the stream. You're doing, you're doing great. You came back from a deficit, had a had a gold lead off farm. Yeah, you allowed yourself. Now to you're get worth 300 gold. Which is huge. Uh, you're worth 600 camp. gold. Hon no, honestly, it's 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 so huge. To if you're ever in a spot it's like a skill. Where Piper it's a was, skill. Yeah, to to learn how to lose gracefully. Mm. in your lane and allow other parts of the map who are ahead to stay ahead and not become yeah, and a lose, liability. Lose is like a tightly used word. Like, you could say, oh, I lost lane because I got ganked six times in a row by an Olaf, but like, did we really lose lane? Like, Well, I mean, it's... so You kind of did, but like... Unless yeah. your team is just outstandingly better than the other team, one side or one lane is going to lose. Yeah. Right? There's got to be a weak point because the jungler can't be everywhere. And if the jungler's the weak point, well then good luck. Um, yeah. Sorry, that's how that, that that's how that goes. But so right now where we stand, we're at the 20 minute mark. It's 27. What do evil need to do to get back evil, into this? 
evil all they can do is try to take their camps when they do co come up give it to the correct uh players i don't think you should have rushed titanic hydra if you're shen because <laughs> uh, you literally have no armor <laughs> the that you I, to like i have been seeing titanic rush on like stuff like warwick in the jungle before is even jungle item so i'm like is this item just like broken for some reason like so I'm, I'm like looking at it i'm like I, I would always think you want stair axe first before that shit to to get the hp you want before you get the actual item that scales with hp it, like it, it it makes sense right but at the same time maybe the item is just stat busted I'll tell you an item that is stat busted that is not being built by Shen right now, and that's Sunfire, Sunfire Cape. <laughs> Bramble uh, and Sunfire and all that. Yeah, we're looking at, you know, I'll tell you this. If I'm evil, I don't know that I'm down 8,000, but I, it feels like I'm down 12,000. Mm. Uh, when the jungler and the ADC can start doing this extremely slow baron that'll take until the next patch comes out to be done. Um, <laughs> They're gonna die. No, no Olaf's gonna get increased healing. Yeah, he'll, he'll be fine, but they'll call they might over. Need, they they might, yeah, yeah, they'll need teammates. They might know. They might have an idea now. They do have an idea, but... They, this they could get really Nocturne. risky if new cap no, gets too low. Nocturne. The only thing is a W to scout. Yep. Oh, man. Don't go in. It was close. It was do. close. Yeah. He had the pink ward in there. and Nocturnal might have came in there. Yeah. Nice try. Now nice try from Evil. What they can do is take mid turret from this. I think they can take mid from this. They uh, ought to know that you're going to KB Baron. Tyler on their team. Yeah. Oh. Or do they ought to know. Oh, man. Alright, well. Burned a lot. <laughs> Got the Victor ult. Flash MF ult. Yeah. But it's it's a uh, state of the game where they can waste spells and still get away with it. Yeah. What I will say is I honestly think that there needs to be a talk, if I'm on the side of evil next game, about communication um, and what we are deciding to do. Because uh, it feels like from level three, that no one was on the same page. Um, I'm a big advocate for two tanks at least. <laughs> See how uh, WSP, or at least I wasn't before, but I think after like last week and after this, like after seeing this game, like I think having two tanks is like very crucial for games like these, just to allow you to scale to the point you want to get to. It's very yeah. volatile having carry champs like Swain and Nocturne, like that can't just frontline by themselves so like if if your mechanics are and your coordination is off in the slightest those those champs just get outclassed by the tanks yeah so so with the way that the meta is shifting because right now if i'm evil i'm talking about what can we do next game what was a problem this game and to be honest i don't think that the problems lie within their draft the problems that I've seen now, the draft could very well be a problem, but that's such an easy crutch to go on to. It's like, oh, obviously, yeah. the champions have 100%, they played... 100% had the same philosophy as you. I just I think in this setting, um, I, I agree with you. The execution is the issue. Their draft could be perfect and like they countered every single lane, but I just think for uh, if you were to play a thousand games in, in this league with everyone's skill level. If you were on tanks most of the time, you would win a higher percentage of games than if you were to pick. Well, I'll tell you if, you're, if your answer team comps. is to uh, you gotta go. So like, I think if you look historically at at the win rates, the tankier team comps just tend to win. Why? Was, They're less volatile. Why was the jungler doing red buff? and having to ult out to save himself. Okay, well that's gonna be game right there. Um, no, I agree. If you if you choose the scaling comp and the scaling option, mo you're more less likely right. to you're less likely yeah. to int on it. Well, I don't know. Because you get more likely. HP. You might get like you might get out farmed right away. You might get like you're less likely to die if you have more HP. Like you're just like you're, like yeah. Well, I in in, in scenario like. 
not in scenarios where you're the engager, but like, I don't know. You know, like in the stupid scenarios where people just end up dying what for free. All I'll say to that is, um, basically, if you were it's to, it's a lot easier for an Olaf to survive than a Nocturne. Put it that way. Like, if you were to, if you were to make the same decisions you made this game on evil and it was on tanks you would have just died slower because the decision making was the main problem i do True. agree that two tanks True. is a better like safer option to where you have agency throughout the rest of the game and you're not on a time limit but that if you continue i, I do think the, the slower same... deaths has value though i think i i think giving your it, team the time to re like react sure. before you this have like five have deaths still, it's like this, this game yeah. would have been 20 kills instead of 27 and maybe mm -hmm. it goes off until 30 but you're still putting your team behind because True. of decision making might so. still be an inevitable loss or yeah so it's just a slower yeah. death so um that was game one uh i'm gonna make the mvp poll um remember that it is piper's birthday today so kaligi cannot be considered for mvp no uh i'm gonna go make the straw poll right now uh who do you think won mvp and tell me why uh by law kaligi Okay, by law, Kaligi. So therefore, I will say that I think it was New Kappa with his early ganks, even though Vitalis ended the game deathless. Um, if not New Kappa, it's Piper because it's his birthday. Game one MVP. Um, so, honestly, uh, New Kappa or Vitalis there. I think New Kappa facilitated Vitalis to get ahead, so I think I'm going to give it to New Kappa there. Mm -hmm. But you can't like it, obviously directed cameras not picking up every little nuance from mid lane and the setup for the gank, you know, like and how much pressure he applied to make sure he couldn't ward for the gank or something. Because if you looked at Frank's ward, it was pretty shallow. He had a ward out on the side that he got ganked from, but it was sh it was shallow enough that Olaf could avoid it. And I don't know about the communicate. Like, was that communicated between the two? Like, did he did he call out the ward like? That it was at the mid laner yeah. doing that, or is that the going? You don't know who's doing it, what, so like yeah, it's a hard lot to of give credit. Yeah, to try to do that. Um, yeah, yeah. But from what we did see, uh, my vote goes to New Kappa. Go, go vote in the straw poll. We're gonna cut for VOD purposes here, and we'll be right back with game two of Evil versus WSP here on PMA LCS.